Look at the Bible. In Matthew, the 23rd chapter, that is the book, that is the chapter that exposed the self-righteous. I've met a lot of self-righteous people that's in the church. Not in God's church, in the building, but not in God's church. Because the Bible said, a pure in heart shall see God. The Bible said, blessed are, are the peacemaker, for they are called the children of God. So if you are, hallelujah, in self-righteousness, that means you're like, you're like Elijah. Elijah say, I'm the only one that have not bow at Jezebel. But, but God say, I got at least a, a thousand that have not kiss at the table of Jezebel. So I'm saying to somebody that's viewing this, this ministry right now, if you are self-righteous, you will not make it into heaven. What I say, if you are self-righteous, you the only one think you are right. You're never wrong. Hallelujah. I get wrong sometimes. They glory to God. But people that are self-righteous, they are more righteous than others. They're never wrong. They always right. Hallelujah. These are the people that are self-righteous. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They're not humble. Glory to God. The Bible says the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world pass away and the lust there are. So if you are self-righteous, you will not make it to heaven. Can you an example of a person that was self-righteous? King Nazareth. King Nazareth stood on the, on the balcony and said, I build this Babylon. Then the Bible said, he hey, go to God. He was knocked out and became a beast for seven years. And the dew of heaven fell on him. Hallelujah. And he turned around and seven years came. He turned around and said, I extol the most high God. I'm telling you, if you are self-righteous, you will not make it into heaven. But I say, if you are self-righteous, you into yourself, you smelling yourself. Hey, go to God. I'll be smelling, I'll be smelling Jesus. I'll be smelling the Savior. Uh, without Jesus Christ, I'm not nothing. In God, I live and move and have my being. So God is my is the center. He is my everything. Hallelujah. I can't live without God. He's the breath that I breathe. Hallelujah. He's a heart. He's my blood. He's my everything. Hey, glory to God. I mean this thing. Without God, I'm a ship without a sail. Hey, glory to God. And people that are self-righteous, they would not make it in heaven. I don't care if you can sing like a mockingbird. You can preach like Paul. If you don't humble yourself, you will not make it into the kingdom of God. How glory to God. Some righteousness is a sin. The first thing described in our churches, they are full of self-righteousness. But we got to humble ourselves before God. How can a person be humble? Well, you got to hear God. You got to be honest to God. You got to have the Holy Spirit, not self-spirit, Holy Spirit. Many are called, but few are chosen. Self-righteousness is a sin.